the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, Thou hast made this journey to die for me with love unutterable, but I have so many times unworthily abandoned Thee. But now I love Thee with my whole heart, and because I love Thee, I repent sincerely for ever having offended Thee. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany Thee on this journey. But go us to die for love of me, I wish also my beloved Redeemer to die for love of Thee. My Jesus, I will live and die, always united to Thee. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore Thee, O Christ, and we praise You, because by Your holy cross You have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after having been scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate, no, it was my sins that condemned thee to die. I beseech thee by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul in its journey toward eternity. I love thee, my beloved Jesus, I love thee more than myself. I repent with my whole heart of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I might love thee always, and then do with me that thou wilt. The second station, Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider that Jesus, in making this journey with the cross on his shoulders, thought of us and offered for us to his Father the death that he was about to undergo. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the tribulations that thou hast destined for me until death. I beseech thee by the merits of the pain thou didst suffer in carrying thy cross to give me the necessary help to carry mine with perfect patience and resignation. I love thee, Jesus, my love. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I might love thee always, and then do with me that thou wilt. Third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider this first fall of Jesus under his cross. His flesh was torn by the scourges, his head crowned with thorns, and he had lost a great quantity of blood. He was so weak that he could scarcely walk, and yet he had to carry this great load upon his shoulders. The soldier struck him rudely, and thus he fell several times in his journey. My beloved Jesus, it is not the weight of the cross, but of my sins which have made thee suffer so much pain. Ah, by the merits of this first fall, deliver me from the misfortune of falling into mortal sin. I love thee, O my Jesus, with all my heart. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me that thou wilt. Fourth station, Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the meeting of the son and the mother, which took place on this journey. Jesus and Mary looked at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts 
which love each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the sorrow thou hast experienced in this meeting, grant me the grace of a truly devoted love for thy most holy mother. And thou, my queen, who wast overwhelmed with sorrow, obtained for me by thy intercession, continue and tender remembrance of the passion of thy son. I love thee, Jesus, my love, I repent of ever having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider that the Jews, seeing that in each step, Jesus from weakness was on the point of expiring, fearing that he would die on the way, when they wished him to die the ignominious death of the cross, constrained Simon Cyrenian to carry the cross behind our Lord. My most sweet Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as a Cyrenian did. I accept it, I embrace it. I accept in particular the death that thou hast destined for me with all the pains which may accompany it. I unite it to thy death and I offer it to thee. Thou hast died for love of me, I will die for love of thee and to please thee. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love, and repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I love you always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by our holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider that the holy woman named Veronica, seeing Jesus so afflicted, and his face bathed in sweat and blood, presented him with a towel with which he wiped his adorable face, leaving on it the impression of his holy countenance. My most beloved Jesus, thy face was beautiful before, but in this journey it has lost all its beauty, and wounds and blood have disfigured it. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received thy grace in baptism, but I have disfigured it with my sins. Thou alone, my Redeemer, canst restore it to its former beauty. Do this by thy passion, O Jesus. I repent, having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the second fall of Jesus on the cross, a fall which renews the pains of all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times thou hast pardoned me, and how many times have I fallen again and begun again to offend thee? O oh, by the merits of this new fall, give me the necessary helps to persevere in thy grace until death. Grant that in all temptations which assail me, I may always commend myself to thee. I love thee, Jesus, my love, with my whole heart. I repent of ever having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. 
Grant that I might love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The eighth station. The women of Jerusalem weep over Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by our holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider that those women wept with compassion at seeing Jesus so pitiable a state, streaming with blood as he walked along. But Jesus said to them, Weep not for me, but for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for the offenses that I have committed against thee, because of the pains which they have deserved, and still more, because of the displeasure which they have caused thee, who has loved me so much. It is thy love, more than the fear of hell, which causes me to weep for my sins. My Jesus, I love thee more than myself. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I might love you always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by our holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the third fall of Jesus Christ. His weakness was extreme, and the cruelty of his executioners excessive, who tried to hasten his steps when he had scarcely strength to move. Ah, my outraged Jesus, but the merits of the weakness that thou didst suffer in going to Calvary, give me strength sufficient to conquer all human respect and all my wicked passions which have led me to despise thy friendship. I love thee, Jesus, my love with my whole heart. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the violence with which the executioner stripped Jesus. His inner garments adhered to his torn flesh, and they dragged him off so roughly that the skin came with them. Compassionate, your Savior thus cruelly treated, and say to him, My innocent Jesus, by the merits of the torment which thou hast felt, help me to strip myself of all affection to things of earth, in order that I place all my love in thee, who art so worthy of my love. I love thee, O Jesus, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I might love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by our holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider that Jesus, after being thrown down on the cross, extended his hands and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. These barbarians fastened him with nails and then raising the cross, 
left him to die in anguish on this infamous gibbet. My Jesus, loaded with contempt, nail my heart to thy feet, that it may never remain there to love thee and never quit thee again. I love thee more than myself, I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The twelfth station. Jesus is raised upon the cross and dies. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how thy Jesus, after three hours of agony on the cross, consumed at length with anguish, abandoned himself to the weight of his body, bows his head and dies. O oh, my dying Jesus, I kiss devoutly the cross on which thou didst die for love of me. I have merited by my sins to die a miserable death, but thy death is my hope. Ah, by the merits of thy death, give me the grace to die. Embracing thy feet and burning with love for thee, I commit my soul into thy hands. I love thee with my whole heart and repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross and placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider that our Lord, having expired, two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, took him down from the cross and placed him in the arms of his afflicted mother, who received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him close to her bosom. O mother of sorrow, for the love of this son, accept me for thy servant and pray to him for me. And thou, my Redeemer, since thou hast died for me, permit me to love thee. For I wish but thee, my Jesus, and I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider that the disciples carried the body of Jesus to bury it, accompanied by his holy mother, who raised it in the sepulcher with her own hands. Then they closed the tomb and all withdrew. Ah, my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that encloses thee, but thou didst rise again the third day. I beseech thee by the resurrection, make me rise glorious with thee at the last day, to be always united with thee in heaven, to praise thee and love thee forever. I love thee and I repent of ever having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Behold, O kind and most sweet Jesus, I cast myself upon my knees in thy sight. 
And with the most fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beseech thee that thou wilt impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, with true contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While with deep affection and grief of soul, I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate thy five wounds, having before my eyes the words which David thy prophet put in thy lips concerning thee. They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 